hello designers welcome to the year 2024 happy new year and welcome back to the channel maushi is sewing so in today's tutorial we are learning how to draft a nurse's uniform so if this sounds like something you're interested in let's jump right into it okay so what you saw me draw was the starting point all right now what we are going to do is we are going to start with the front all right and the front has a button panel and so that is what you see me drawing that is um, a two inches buttons panel okay all right guys so once this is done i'm going to fold this panel inside to avoid any confusion okay so that is what you see me doing so once this is folded in we are going to put in our dimensions all right so this person i'm working for has um a bust point of 10.5 inches and so that's what you see me put in here and then i will put in her shoulder to waist at 15 inches all right and her hip at 23 and a half inches so that is what you see me marking out so guys i want to add that the person i'm working for has a bust of 36 and a waist of 30 inches all right good so what you see me marking is her length all right the shoulder to her hem which is um 42 inches plus um about one and a quarter inch allowance all right so that is what you've seen me put right here so like i was saying the person has um, a waist of 30 okay and a bust of 36 so let's call that the bust point here the waist over here the hip line and then beneath it is the length now i want to add that between the waist and the hip is a distance of eight inches all right good so this is what we have guys now now guys i'll be using three three and a quarter or three to fourth for the neck width all right but before that let's work on the shoulders okay i'm using a shoulder width of guys a shoulder width of seven to fourth all right so you've seen me mark it there or seven and a quarter now beneath that shoulder width measurement i stepped down by one and a, one inch sorry and i connected it to the end of the neck width we won't be working on the neck right now that will be for later after the cutting has been done so i stepped down with her um armhole depth measurement now to calculate your armhole depth measurement divide your bust circumference into six and then you add 1.5 okay so that is what i have now you find the midpoint of your armhole depth measurement and divide that into two that is what you see me doing once that is done you connect the midpoint to the um a quarter of your bust measurement as in divide the bust measurement into four mark it on the chest line and then connect that midpoint of the armhole that to it and then connect it to the shoulder slope with your curve as you see me doing guys i want to add that the line above the bp line is the chest line all right so i had gone in I had gone in and marked um, the, a quarter of my bust circumference, all right? A quarter of the bust circumference of the person I'm working for, all right? Uh -huh. So what I'm doing right here is 
I divided her um, her nipple to nipple measurement into two. Hers was 7.5. I divided that into two and I'm marking it on the bust point line, the waist line, on the hip line, and then on the hem. Once that is done, I took in um her I took in the waist on the waistline, all right. I stepped in by so so I stepped in with um half inch here and half inch out, half inch in, half inch out, all right, and then I connected it to that on the hip, all right. So that is what you see me doing. And then once that was done, I connected it to the hemline, to the points on the hem. All right. Okay, guys. So since we've already put in our bust measurement on the chest line, we move on to putting a um, waist measurement on the waist line. And then you add in the dart intake. All right. And then you add in your allowance, sewing allowance of one and a half inches. And you add that on the bust, on the chest line also. All right. Once that is done, you put in your hip measurement here on the hip line. I was supposed to add the allowance. I forgot to add it, but I'll be adding it later on, which you will see. So, um, on the hemline, divide, sorry, subtract one inch from what you put on the hip line. Okay, so on the hip, I think I put 10 inches. On the hem, I deducted one inch and put nine inches. So once that was done, I connected the dots. So it was at this point that I realized I forgot to add the allowance on the hip line. Okay. And so this was me making amends, making the corrections. Okay. So this is, this is it guys. Now, you could have used um, your, your curve to draw the hip in a curved way, but I decided to use my ruler because when I'm sewing, I'm going to sew it in a curve, all right? And so once we are done, we cut out the pattern. Remember, we are cutting, we are using this pattern to cut both our front pieces and our back pieces. And so be sure to cut the back first. Okay, just as you see me doing. I forgot to tell you guys, but I cut, I drew two armholes, both the front and the back. And so what you saw me cut was the back. That was the side with the red marker. Okay, so I cut the back. So this is the back pattern with the zipper allowance folded in. This is for our back pattern. Of course, we are not done yet we have to divide the shoulders into two and connect it because this is going to be a six pieces a six pieces dress okay so that's what you see me doing i'm dividing the shoulders into two and i'll be connecting it to the bust as in the tip of the dart which is on the bust line So this is it, guys. So now we cut out our pieces. Now all that we are doing is we are cutting out the dart from this dress because by cutting out the dart we are creating a six pieces dress all right so that is what you saw me do 
so this is basically it we'll be using this pattern to draw to cut our front pieces and our back pieces so here is the material the greenness is uniform with the white peter pan color that is what we are sewing all right so this is what we have here here is the center piece or the center front all right the center front for both the front and the back so i placed it on the cloth pinned it and then drew it out and then i'm adding allowance i'm adding allowance on the side as you can see i have denoted the waist and the hip lines to help me add my allowance okay now you can go ahead and draw out your neck dimensions i used um three to fourth for her neck width and then three inches for her neck depth but later on i had to increase the neck depth so i think by using three three and a half inches is fine yes three to um three to fourth as in the neck width and then three and a half inches neck depth is fine for someone with a bust of um 36 all right even a bust of 38 that will be equally great or good yes so that's what i did and now i cut out now you ask why are we adding um allowance on the other side is because you are going to be joining the left and the right to the sides of the front the front is in three pieces the center piece and then the left side and then the right side you need to add joining allowance so that you don't run short okay so now that we are done with the front we're going to use this same pattern to cut our back by folding in our zipper allowance because the back the the center back is one piece unlike the center front okay so you put it you lay it flat pin it and then um, draw out the pattern and then add allowances on both add allowances add allowances yes sorry add allowances on one side all right the side the side that is what you saw me do okay i've added allowance on the side this is the back so you add allowance on the side when you open it out it will cater for the left and then for the right sides of the back panel once that is done guys you just cut out okay so now we've cut out our back you've cut out our front what we are left to do is to cut out our sides all right and as you are already aware the sides the sides are the same the sides don't change so you lay your fabric over you lay it on fold and then you cut out now i use this to cut the back um side first so i have now i have two two of the sides for the back okay so that is what i have that's just, that is what you see me cutting out remember before we can cut out the sides for the front we need to cut out the armhole cut out the front armhole which we are yet to do so after cutting the sides for the back i added allowance on the on the um on the side which i shouldn't have because one and a half inch allowance has already been added to the side so you only need to add allowance on this side all right half inch on this side and not on the side okay so this is what i was talking about we need to remove our front armhole before we can use this pattern to cut out for our front sides so that's what you see me doing So now we are good to go. 
fold your fabric into two put it on fold all right just as you see me do then you lay your pattern over draw it out and then add your joining allowance as you can see i didn't add any um, allowance on the sides because it's already been catered for so once that was done i came to work on the sleeve i want to add that a detailed tutorial is on my channel so you can check that out but um this is going to be this is going to be a turn up sleeve so i added two inches allowance to her um short sleeve length of nine inches and so i'm i'm, I'm drawing it out in the length of 11 inches okay so that's what you saw me mark out can you see that 11 inches now what you see me drawing is the nine inches it's supposed to have as I said, I've already added two inches. So the rest is the allowance I added. So after all is said and done, you fold it like this and then fold it on top like this in a turn up. Okay. And then you stitch it like so. So whatever inch you want it, add two inches to it. And then I'm using um, the sleeve cap or the cap sleeve length of um i think i used five inches four and a half and then five inches is fine her um around arm or bicep measurement was i think six and a half inches so you mark that you mark that add one and a half inch allowance and then connect that line from the allowance to the fold on the upper corner and then you find the midpoint of that line that you drew. Find the midpoint and then mark it as you've seen me do. And then you step up by half inch. All right, connect it to this side. And then connect it in a curve to the fold with your French curve. Or you can just use your free hand. Now you step down by half inch on the midpoint, then you curve it like so. Turn your French curve and then you connect it to the fold in such a way that you have a visible S. Now once you see this visible S, you know that you are on the right path, okay? So once that is done, you put in your um, around arm measurement, half your around arm measurement, all right? Repeat that on the allowance line or the turn up allowance line. Add your one and a half inch allowances. And then once that is done, you simply connect all the lines or all the dots together to form your sleeve like i said guys there is a detailed tutorial of this on my channel and you also find the link in the description box down below please do check it out for various ways to cut your sleeve thank you so this is what we have guys this is our sleeve now this includes a back and the front all right so be sure to open it out before you cut out guys i was making a mistake by cutting the both of them together <laughs> i made corrections but be sure to open it out okay open it out and cut your front the visible s that you see that that will be the front okay so you cut your you cut your you open it out and you cut your front you remove the front out all right uh -huh, like so like so so what i did was i phased them i phased it right side to right side before i cut it out to so do it like so now this is for the belt i initially told you the person has um, a waist of 30 so i made the belt have this width of 33 inches okay and then um a length of um five inches 
okay so this is basically it